This weekend at the box office was clown versus clown and it was nothing short of an epic showdown. In one corner, you had the underdog Sensation 35 3, a scrappy little horror film that completely annihilated expectations. And on the other corner, the disappointing, expensive, and star studded Joker 2, which suffered a record breaking drop in its second weekend. So let me break down how massive this win was for Terrifier 3 and its director Damien Leon, and how abysmal it was for Joker 2 and Todd Phillips. Alright, vamonos! Terrifier 3 blasted off with a jaw dropping $18.3 million opening weekend, making it the top film in the United States and also the top film worldwide. That's right! But what about Joker 2? Well, that movie plummeted to a pathetic $7 million in its second weekend, an insane 81% drop from its opening weekend. That means that the movie fell down all the way to third place, behind the amazing and a movie that you should totally watch, The Wild Robot. This isn't just bad for Joker 2, this is a catastrophe. This is the worst second weekend drop for a DC movie ever. Yeah, worse than The Flash. And not only that, it's the worst drop from any superhero film just ever, period. Even worse than Morbius. Two movies you don't want to be in company of, much less be invested by them. Good lord. But these box office results planned a very interesting question. How was Terrifier 3, an indie horror film, able to beat Joker 2, a massive blockbuster? Well, for starters, let's talk about the budget. Joker 2 was made for $200 million, whereas Terrifier 3 was made with only $2 million. You could have made 100 Terrifier movies with the Joker budget, let that sink in. It's just very hard to comprehend why Warner Bros. spent just so much making the Joaquin Phoenix movie when the first one cost four times less, only $50 million. Terrifier 3 also had a minuscule marketing budget of $1.5 million, opting more for guerrilla marketing and a collaboration with freaking Call of Duty. And what about The Joker 2, you ask? Well, it's estimated they spent a whopping $100 million on marketing. But the budget is not the only thing that made a difference here. The Terrifier team gave their horror fans more of what they loved from the first two movies. They knew their audience and gave them everything they wanted. So let's not sugarcoat it. The studio and filmmakers of Joker 2 were downright dumb for spending so much money on a movie made to subvert expectations by turning it into a musical and destroying everything that made the first movie so popular. Basically, they spent 300 million just to piss off their fan base. Fans wanted another Wagyu steak, and Warner Bros. gave him a sh sandwich instead. And I have the receipts. Terrifier 3 got a B cinema score from mainstream audiences. For a horror movie, a B cinema score is actually pretty decent. Horror films often get more mixed reactions because of their intense content, so a B can mean the movie is still connected with its target bloody horror audience. The Joker, on the other hand, debuted with a D cinema score that was the lowest ever for a comic book movie, lower than Morbius and Madame Webb. So Todd Phillips and Warner Bros. gave their fans a sandwich, but they slammed it back into their faces, just like Steve Aoki smashing a birthday cake into their fans' faces. But enough of the negative, let's end this video on a positive note. Terrifier 3 success is a massive win for indie horror. We're talking about a total revolution on in the industry. Films like Terrifier 3 and Godzilla Minus One are proving that smaller genre films can dominate the box office without breaking the bank. How long will it take Hollywood to learn this lesson? Fans don't want bigger and more expensive, they just want great stories. If you're not excited about indie horror right now, what are you even doing? This is the golden age for creative storytelling. Oh well, that was the box office breakdown for this weekend. As always, I wanna know what you think. Are you surprised by the Terrifier Trees box office win? Are you surprised that it beat the Joker? Why do you think this movie was so successful when Joker was just such a disappointment? Let me know in the comments below. As always, my name is Hector Navarro, and I'll see you on the next one. Adios.